Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Reluctantly, I want to do this video because I'm, I'm going to be very, very careful not to say anything that will suggest to Google or to YouTube that I am in any way uh, contradicting or um, going against their community laid standards. Yeah, YouTube deleted or banned TB Joshua from their platform. I must say that it is not something to be celebrated. So I'm not doing this to celebrate that. I don't have any reason why I should be happy that his YouTube channel was deleted. Now, uh, having gone through some experiences in the hands of YouTube for um, breaking their community guidelines, so they tagged it. You know, recently I was given a strike by YouTube, not by uh, Hubert Angel like, you, you know, I, I had experienced in the past. And the strike was that I broke the community guideline rules. And what uh, my offense was labeled medical misinformation, right? Because I spoke somehow about... Um, the trending thing now I don't want to mention anything I don't want to say anything now okay so when I say medical misinformation it is about what is happening now that you know um, what is happening globally now the the outbreak that we see now and so I spoke something about it which YouTube found to be against the, the, the attendant or against the rules of their community guidelines and so um, I was given a strike. The strike is still on my dashboard and it will only expire in 90 days from the day the, tri the strike was given. So when I saw uh, several videos, numerous videos of people, you know, talking about uh, um, the YouTube channel of TB Joshua being, you know, deleted or that he was banned, I saw S Solomon did a live video on that and my brother uh ricky also i think he has done about three videos on that and the recent one he did was you know he said he was about missing information misinforming youtube about the 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 genre of the video now because on youtube now when you, when you have done a video you are supposed to label the video appropriately properly informing uh, the youtube algorithm where to push the video to you know the audience that might be willing to watch that for instance if you have anything that contains sexuality in your video for instance you've got to indicate if there is nude in your video you have to indicate if there is any violent language in your video you have to indicate the video that uh, uh made youtube to ban uh tb joshua's um platform or his channel and it has something under the one they call hate speech now or discrimination and it's about the the deliverance he conducted on several individuals at least between 2016 to 2020 so in my uh, search i i um, i got this information that i want to read from maverick citizen and this is the information that is closest to the reason why i think youtube actually banned uh tb joshua's uh channel from its platform in response to open democracy's inquiries about cb joshua's controversial exorcisms youtube terminated his channel Facebook says it has removed certain posts, but a number are still visible. And Multi Choice, which broadcast his 24 hour channel, did not respond. So, here, Pastor TB Joshua, the controversial Nigerian televangelist, hits Mary Okoye's head and she falls to the floor. When she gets up, he hits her again and tells her to call her second, another woman he refers to as Okoye's wife. So, here, narrating uh that video that particular video clip joshua slaps and pushes okoye and the unnamed woman at least 16 times and tells okoye there is a spirit disturbing you she has transplanted herself into you it is the spirit of woman 
this scene which appears in a video uploaded to youtube in april 2018 then changes to events a week later okoye accompanied by her mother and two sisters testifies before joshua and his congregation that the spirit of woman has been destroying her life but now thanks to joshua's intervention she has no affection whatsoever for her second and now i have affections for men the video has been watched more than 1.5 million times on tb joshua ministries youtube channel it appeared first on emmanuel tv a television station owned by joshua's lagos mega church the synagogue church of all nations between 2016 and january 2020 the channel posted at least seven similar clips showing the charismatic christian televangelist engaging in violent exorcism to cure gay and lesbian congregants of their sexual orientation by casting out the demon of homosexuality youtube closed the channel which had more than 1.8 subs 1.8 million subscribers on 12th of april after open democracy contacted it to ask whether this content violated the platform's community guidelines youtube's community guidelines prohibit hate speech and will remove flagged videos and comments that violate these policies in this case we have terminated the channel a youtube spokesperson told open democracy youtube says it prohibits content which alleges that someone is mentally ill diseased or inferior because of their membership in a protected group including sexual orientation so uh this is this is what i think this is what i think uh that youtube lately discovered maybe someone flagged the videos and youtube took action now the reason i said is it wasn't actually because of bad labeling it was because between that time and late last year we don't so much have that aspect of you being the one that we label your content you know all you do is you upload uh describe and give the uh, the topic the only uh audience that you have to choose was as at that time was if your content was made for children or not for children you have to m make that choice so you know it was recently that they brought in uh, you've got to indicate whether your video has such and such content or such and such words in it you know that you have to score your 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 content and so around that 2016 to 2020 you know that option was not there so it would have it actually have been unfair if youtube should suspend that channel based on that but basically what i think happened was that that video had been on and um, maybe somebody recently got across it watched it and flagged that video so in flagging it youtube will always respond to that information that is sent to it so when this this information is sent to the AI, that the the natural thing that the the robot would do would, would be to act based on the information that it receives, or it received, then the owner of the channel will now have to write. When you write an appeal, then the uh, these people will now delegate a staff, a human, you know, a reviewer who would review the content to find out if truly uh, the content has contravened or uh, broken the community guideline rules. A, a perfect example of what I'm trying to say here is that there was this video that I did, Miracle Money, exposed. I did it and then I, I captured that uh, satanic image that was in the video that man, the man who was doing that magic used and also the guy who was trying to who was playing the video who bent low as if he was looking at that image and so when the ai saw it it captured that image as a naked woman and the man as in peeping at the naked woman and so my thumbnail was removed you know i, I was surprised i didn't see it i did another one i also uploaded before i now got uh to my inbox and i saw that youtube has already sent me a warning that i had contravened 
uh, their community guide uh, community guide ru guideline rules based on nudes and nudity. I was like me nude and yeah, and nudity. The thing was, you know, and so I didn't I didn't understand that. So I I wrote to them. I said that they have to review it because I've gotten enough warning from them and I didn't want that to remain on my um, dashboard. So they reviewed it and they sent me an apology letter that um, they have found out. So majority of what they do now is actually based on the, on the AI. Now, but I'm not saying now that there is uh, the likelihood that TB Joshua's channel will be restored or not. But I'm just giving you uh, a kind of a lowdown of what you likely will get. So um, I want to believe that uh, TB Joshua has people who probably can even uh, communicate directly without inhibition with uh, the people behind the activities in YouTube. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and uh, you know see how the whole thing pans out. Meanwhile, I am actually I feel for them because um, it, it is not easy. It is not is not usually a good thing. Even though that I know that if if TB Joshua wants to start a YouTube channel today, new one, he can start and without too too long, he can also have all his followers back following that channel is not a very good experience anyway you know he they have more advantage because they are big people they are you know whether we like it or not whatever we say about them those their followers will always follow them so for them to get a new youtube channel is very easy you know for them to do that uh meanwhile uh, let me know what you think about the whole thing i want to read your comments and i want you to um subscribe to the channel please if you have not done so before and like the video and distribute it uh for others to watch thank you very very much i appreciate your support and your love god bless you i'll be seeing you in the next video shortly until then stay focused stay rapturable and stay away from the system of the world that is what we're we talking about and from me to you shalom